Hi there, Neil Clark here from Falkirk Piping, www.falkirkpiping.com. This is day number 13 on our Burns 2022 challenge and the charity we're supporting today is again Maggie's Fourth Valley. You'll find the link to the Just Giving page in the comments box below this video. So, the tune is the mucking of Geordie's buyer. Now, I never thought this one was that old, but uh, we'll do the Burns one first. Uh, the poem which is set to the tune The Muckin' of Geordie's Buyer is a down-winding nith, nith being the river, uh, which ran through Dumfries. So, possibly, this is getting later on in Burns' uh, career, if not his life. And the poem goes, A wall with your bells and your beauties, they never with her can compare. Whoever he met with my Phyllis has met with the Queen of the Fair. We'll do a verse as well. A down winding nith I did wander to mark the sweet flowers as they spring. A down winding nith I did wander of Phyllis to muse and to sing, to think and sing about Phyllis. Um, more on the tune, because it's a quite interesting tune. Uh, it's a two parted 6 8 march and it's a bothy ballad. It's an Aberdeenshire bothy ballad. Don't forget, Burns' father came down from Aberdeenshire to farm in Ayrshire, it was originally Burness was the, the family name, as did my forebears, my uh, great-grandfather came down from Aberdeenshire to help build Grangemouth docks, and apparently that's where the red face comes from. So, a bothy ballad, uh, all about people getting absolutely steaming at the mucking of Geordie's buyers, it's the cleaning out of the buyer, but they had a party afterwards. Where I remember this one from, and uh, I'll try and keep this quite short here. We all, most of us, know that the uh, the tune The Green Hills of Tyrol was put to the song A Scottish Soldier by Andy Stewart around about 1951, much the same way as Burns put his poems to song. Uh, it went to number one in the charts, it kind of hit things absolutely bang on, although the, the tale in the, in the tune itself wasn't really specific to anything. Uh, he hit it uh, absolutely bang on. What's that got to do with Muckinage or Geordie's buyer? You will be sitting there asking. I'll tell you, I still have the single, which I didn't buy in 1951, but someone in the family did, and it's sitting over there. And then the B side of the circle is this song, The Muckinage or Geordie's Buyer. Got there finally, didn't I? Uh, that'll do, I think. I like it. I like it. Uh, Andy Stewart was just uh, some guy. Uh, not quite as much an influence as Burns, but anyway, the muckin' of Geordie's buyer. <laughs> 